This week we're using the book Fortunately to work on high versus low sounds. I explained the book by saying that Ned, this guy in the book, sometimes has good days. And when Ned has good days, the pictures are really colorful and happy looking. And we always hear this word, fortunately. When something good happens to Ned, after this page has been read out loud, the student will say, woohoo, in a high voice. And they will play high sounds, any high sounds that they want, on the piano. If you don't have a piano at home, we will use this website. For the fortunately pages where good things happen to Ned, your student might first say, woohoo, and then play some high sounds. They can play white keys, black keys, short sounds, long sounds, as long as they're playing at the high end of the keyboard. They might also want to say woohoo while they play their high sounds. Anyway is fine as long as they're making high sounds. But sometimes bad things happen to Ned. When he has a bad day, the pages look black and white and gray. And the word is unfortunately. After an unfortunately page, the student will say, wah, 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 in a low voice. And they will play any low sounds they want on the piano. Of course, for these unfortunate pages, the student would say, Womp, 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 and play low sounds. Can you think of any other ways to practice high and low with this book? Maybe you could add some high movement and some low movement. Maybe you could randomly open the book to a page and see if your student can make the correct vocal sound, and or play the correct end of the keyboard. I hope you have fun with this book.